In the last quarter of 2021, Apple made a profit of $20.6 billion in one quarter. So you would definitely assume that their software engineers are top paid and there is no other company that can pay as much as apple does hi friends welcome back to my channel where i talk about software engineering and financial independence while living an intentional life in this video we are talking about how much money apple software engineers make i'll be breaking down their salaries level by level and also break down how that package works stick around till the end to find out if apple is a remote friendly company and if there are any other companies that are paying more than Apple. IC2s are junior engineers that are making 167,000 US dollars every year at Apple. This pay package is actually broken down into base, stock, and bonus on top. So their base is $126,000 with a stock payout of $26,000 and a bonus of $15,000. The way that the stock payout works is it usually starts vesting after the first year is completed by the employee in the company. That kind of keeps them motivated to be very high performing in their first year, impress all their peers and managers and bosses and whatnot. So after one year is spent in the company, 25% of their entire stock package is vested. After that, usually it's a cadence of a quarterly vesting, but some companies also vest every month. And by vesting, I mean that 25% of the entire stock package is now usable. You can either execute it, you can sell it, or you can just keep it for it to grow and then use it up later in future. The next level of software engineering is the IC3. This title is plain software engineer. To help you understand what an IC2, a junior level engineer or a software engineer and what the distinction is, let me compare and contrast these two engineers. An entry level software engineer is fresh out of college. So all they are laced with is information that they studied in the courses. So they must have studied algorithms, data structures, maybe some web technologies, I did robotics, artificial intelligence, and a whole lot of software engineering -y stuff. But now I am going to this real world job and I have to do a smart job of asking enough questions to more experienced peers and colleagues in order to make sense of all of these pieces and build software along with them. So usually at this stage, you are in a very rapid growth phase. You are listening very carefully in your meetings. Most of your peers will be giving you a little bit of direct direction and feedback and your managers will be kind of hand holding you to let you understand how the entire team works. But as you become a software engineer and IC3, at this time, you are expected to know the ins and outs of your teams and what are the roles that are played by everybody. At this time, you still may not be able to run an entire project alone but you will be part of a small team, usually two to three people, and you'll be writing methods and functions inside one project while getting a good understanding of that project. Usually, a new college grad can become an IC3 in a time frame of anywhere from six months to up to two years. Speaking of IC3 engineers, let's get into how much money they're making. IC3s at Apple in the year 2022 can expect to make about 221,000 US dollars every single year. That consists of a base salary of 148,000, a stock component of $56,000 and a bonus of $17,000. Next comes the IC4 or the senior software engineer. This coveted role can be played by people who understand most of the pieces of this technology that the company is working on and can confidently take up a project and execute it all by themselves. They are great team players, they are good mentors, and they understand all of the team members' functions and how to ask the right questions. Usually, somebody can become a senior software engineer as early as two and a half years into their careers to up to around the fourth or fifth year mark, almost everyone is moving from that software engineer to the senior software engineer role. At Apple, a senior software engineer can expect to make around $336,000, thanks to the higher base pay of $191,000 per year, a stock component of $121,000, and a bonus of $24,000. 
The next level now is that of the IC5. I think of the IC5s as a kind of transition between a senior software engineer and an architect level role. They are now getting very well versed with all the technologies. They are probably in their seventh or eighth year of their career, and they are taking part in making major decisions as far as technology choices and other big projects are concerned. IC5s and IC6 are very active in discussing how multiple partner teams work together and how their relationships can be built. IC5 is where a person can usually take the pivot from being a software engineer to becoming an engineering manager as well. So at Apple, IC5s are making around $490,000. Now the base salary has jumped up to $227,000 per year with a stock component of $222,000 and an extra bonus of $41,000. Next, the IC6. The IC6 level is very close to that of a principal or staff software engineer moving towards the role of an architect. At this level, these people are definitely spending a lot of their time coding, but also creating a long-term vision and making sure that the technical health of the team is being taken care of. A good IC6 or 7 is also a good leader. They are mentoring junior engineers and making sure that the engineering side of the things is working well, smoothly, and very healthy. An IC6 engineer commands a massive salary of $768,000 at Apple. Neurosurgeons can make that much money as well. This salary comprises of a base package of $270,000 with a stock component of $435,000 and an added bonus of $65,000. I hope these numbers are inspiring and getting you fired up if you've been thinking of becoming a software engineer and maybe you have that fire and energy to reach at this level in the next 10 years. You might be commanding $750,000 or more in your yearly paychecks. And this company growing so hard and so fast every single year, this stock actually just sits and grows. So in the end, these engineers are really making more than a million dollars every single year. Along with the hefty pay package, Apple engineers also enjoy the regular benefits like health insurance, dental coverage, vision coverage, and free food. Oh no, Apple doesn't do that. Some of my friends work at Apple and let's just say they have some beef with the generosity that Apple has with their employees. I don't think they have free food. One of my friends joked about how the only free thing that they get at the campus is apples. <laughs> the employees get maternity leave of around 16 weeks for mothers and paternity leave for, of 6 weeks for fathers. I think Apple, you can do a lot better than that because six weeks is nothing and fathers also need a lot of bonding time with the baby. Their paid time off is not the best. Many, many companies are doing unlimited paid time offs, but that's kind of a double-edged sword. Let me know if you guys want to see a separate video about the whole unlimited paid time off that the Silicon Valley does. There are a lot of pros, but you might not imagine that there are many, many cons of doing that as well. So. If you want to see that video, leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Also, like this video if you've been enjoying learning about how much money Apple employees are making. Now let's talk about whether Apple provides remote job opportunities. A year and a half ago, I did speak to an Apple recruiter personally, just trying to understand how the company is functioning and what kind of roles were available. I have been on a sabbatical from a Silicon Valley job for almost two and a half years, but from time to time, I talk to recruiters just to see the lay of the land. And um, I mentioned that I live in Hawaii and the recruiter was, I think, pretty jealous. <laughs> but jokes apart, um, they did mention that if I wanted a job at Apple and wanted to keep it long term, that I would have to move to Cupertino. And that was a no for me because living my best life here in Hawaii. Um, so they aren't the most remote friendly company, but recently Tim Cook announced that they are going to keep the remote work on indefinitely because of the new variants of the disease. Overall, the feeling I got was that the company really wants their employees to come back, but they're only allowing remote work for the time being. And to answer a major question, is Apple the top, top payer in the Silicon Valley? The answer is no. There are many other companies that are paying more than Apple does, even though they make way more profits than these other companies. For example, Netflix strives really hard to pay its employees a hundred percentile, which means that they look at your skills and the market demand of your certain 
position as a software engineer and they'll compare with any data that they have what other companies are paying other software engineers at the same level, at the same demand as you. And they will beat whatever other companies are paying to keep you at 100 percentile, if that makes sense. Apple certainly is not doing that. They know that their stock grows so much and historically uh, employees have seen that. So they are okay with a little bit less pay for a potential future growth of the stock. Because also in, in comparison, Netflix doesn't do stock payouts. They have a high base salary and it's all cash. So let me know what did you think about these Apple salaries? And would you like me to make more videos about other companies? Was this video inspiring, especially if you are a budding software developer, if you are just starting school? Would you like to work at a company like Apple? Why would you want to do that? Is it for the pay or for the passion of their product? Let me know all of that in the comments below. And if you like this video, you will definitely like the video that I made about the pros and cons of being a software engineer. Thank you for watching till the end and I hope you're doing well. Stay happy and healthy and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.